welcome back. I am bringing you guys a session from San Francisco at Bay 101. Of the last 11 sessions I've played, I had one session where I didn't win or lose anything, and the other 10 have all been wins. Stay tuned to see if I can keep the win streak alive. Welcome to the hands. This is a session I played over at Bay 101. It is 3-5 no limit, and it is an $800 max buy. And they force you to go south if you table change, which is a bit weird. But the very first hand I play, Under the Gun has straddled. I raise pocket jacks up to $30 and I get two collars. So we are three ways to a flop out of position, which is okay. Queen 10, 6, two spades. Put backdoor straight, backdoor flush draw. But definitely want to check this out of position. Uh, hijack now bets 45, about half pot. Cutoff calls and could probably fold here, but I toss in the call. Off to the turn, which is the three of hearts. I check it over, and now hijack checks it back, and now cutoff takes a stab for 150. He's got about 375 behind, and I just don't believe he has a queen here for this size. I'm just not buying it. Um, I think he's probably putting in like a protection bet with maybe a 10, and then going to check back the river. Or he's most likely got a bluff here, and I just don't think he's going to fire river. So I'm going to try to deny his equity. I just don't think we're getting called by a queen here ever. But I could be wrong. This is my first hand I've ever playing here. <laughs> so... I decide to stick it in, hijack folds, cut off in the tank for a little bit, and then decides on a fold. So picking up a pretty nice pot to start the day. This hand is against the same player who bet out and then folded last hand, uh, but we're looking at a lot of limbs. Um, then button raises to 20. I've got ace nine of hearts in the small blind and I three bet to 80. One of the limpers actually overcalls, who's the player from the last hand and everyone else folds. So pretty ideal. We go heads up to a flop of ace nine three rainbow. Amazing. I'm gonna start with a bet here. He doesn't have too much behind, so I'm gonna make it really small. I bet 50, and my opponent calls. Off to the turn, which is the 10 of diamonds. Doesn't pair the board, beautiful. We're gonna keep going for some value. It's about one SPR, so you're gonna to wanna to bet around 40% here. I sized down a little bit too much, and I made it 100, which kind of makes the river a little bit too big, but it's okay. Uh, and he calls again. Off to the river, which is the six of diamonds. Beautiful. We still have two pair. I'm going to go for it all. Fired out a bet of 970, or all in rather, for his 240. Thinks for a bit and pays us off. Very nice. We show, and it is certainly good. Looking down at two limps, we pick up 10 eight of hearts on the button and raise things up to $30. We get a call from the big blind as well as one of the limpers. So three ways to a flop of queen, nine, deuce, two diamonds. You've got a gut shot here, but I do like to over C bet um, in this game. People are just overfolding, so I fire out 30. Unfortunately, both my opponents make the call. Off to the turn, which is another deuce. Checks to me, definitely time to give up here, so I just check it back. River, though, is the ace of hearts. Pretty good card to bluff on, so when it checks to me, I fired out a final bet of 120. Big blind, unfortunately, doesn't think for too long and makes the call. Hijack fold, we show, and he shows the queen jack of hearts. That one's definitely not going to get through. Hot in the gun has limped, and we have pocket three, so his direct left. I raise things up to 20, it falls back round, and only he makes the call. So we're heads up to actually a pretty nice flop. 888. Nice. He checks it over. I'm going to bet real small here. I don't have to be too big. I bet 10, and surprisingly, he raises me to 25. I probably induced this with my tiny bet, so. I make the call, we're off to the turn, which is the Jack of Clubs. Does it, there are no board changing turns or <laughs> rivers on this, uh, in this hand. Uh, he fires out again for 70. I should probably just fold here. He's probably just overplaying a hand like sevens or eights, but I get pretty stubborn. Wasn't believing him in the moment, and I call. Off to the river, which is the Six of Clubs. Still doesn't change anything, and now he fires out a bet of 205. And I'm just not buying it, but he's probably just overplaying, you know, pocket nines or something. I think I have ace king. But I get stubborn. I toss in the call and we get shown pocket aces. Ooh, <laughs> was not expecting that. Nice hand. Well played by my opponent. The under the gun straddle is live. I raise things up to $30 ace jack of spades in early position. We get two callers. So we're going three ways to a flop. Of 10, 7, 4, 1 spade, 2 clubs. Not a whole lot going on for me, so I'm just going to check this one back and give up. Cutoff also checks behind. Off to the turn, which is a beautiful jack of hearts. Small blind checks it to me. I'm going to fire a small bet of 30 here. Cutoff folds, and small blind makes the call. Blinds just shove almost any river. 
and it comes the three of diamonds, perfect. But before I can do that, small blind now leads out for pot, uh, leads out for $140 all in. And I come this close to snap calling it, but this is never a bluff, right? When the river comes a blank and then they just shove their stack in, it means they already had it. And this is their version of trapping. Now they're springing the trap. So I just take a deep breath. Every time I've seen this, it's never been a bluff. And I make a very disciplined fold. I pat myself on the black back and then my opponent shows 9-7 off suit. <laughs> well played. We're up against the same player as last hand. We're here for revenge. I open up ace-10 of clubs over a limp to $25 in the hijack. And we only get two callers in the big blind and the straddle. So in position to a flop of queen-5-5-2 five, five, clubs. Beautiful. Checks to me, I bet 25 and only the uh, player from last hand makes a call. Off to a beautiful turn, so seven of clubs. We make the nut flush. My opponent checks it over. He's got about three SPR, so you want to bet about 80% here. It's about $100, sounds good. I bet 110 is a little large. But my opponent announces all in. Nothing to do here but call. Hopefully he doesn't already have a boat. And we're off to a river, which is the three of clubs. Looks pretty good. And my opponent shows jack five off suit. He actually had trips here. Good thing we hit the turn. That is a very nice pot coming our way. In this next hand, uh, the under the gun player has limped and hijack has raised to 35. He has been raising very large to isolate this player. Uh, so I don't think his range is exactly that strong. So I've got ace jack off in the cutoff and I re-raise things up to 105. Folds around to the big blind who calls the 35. But then dealer says, no, it's actually 105. And then he changes from a call to an all in. Don't know about that, but <laughs> anyways, Pulls back to us and for 170 something more, snap call. Uh, we're off to a flop of queen, nine, three, two diamonds. Turn is the six of diamonds. River, the king of clubs. Looks like we're not going to win this one. And sure enough, my opponent shows king, queen suited. Uh, we got it in slightly good, like 55%. So can't be that upset. Okay, in this hand, uh, two new players have sat to my left. And they're a little bit on the tighter side. And I have been bluffing them relentlessly. But I have ace, eight of spades this hand. I raise things up to 15. One of the players calls on the button, and we are heads up to a flop of ace, 10, six, two spades. Beautiful. Um, this button player is quite tight, though, so I don't imagine I have the best hand a lot of the times here. So I'm going to start with a check here, and my opponent fires out a pretty sizable bet of 25. Nothing to do here but make the call. Off to the turn, which is a beautiful eight of diamonds. I check it over, and he fires out a bet of 45. And since I've been bluffing so relentlessly, I'm definitely going to put in the raise when I do a value. So I re-raise things up. I make it pretty big to 160. Almost 4x. His bet was a bit small. So now we're, we're quite deep. Thanks for quite a while. And then tosses in the call. Looks pretty good. We're off to River, which is the brutal queen of clubs. Uh, I imagine he three bets ace-king at some frequency. Uh, so now we can only really get paid by ace-jack, which kind of sucks, but... Ace Jack is more likely than Ace Queen, seeing as there's a Queen out there. So I'm definitely gonna have to go with some value. I can't go as big as I was originally gonna go with this river. I really don't like this river. So King Jack of Spades gets there. Ace Queen gets there. Yeah, I just don't like this river. But I think it's a bit too nitty to not go for value here. So I fired a half pot bet of 215. Opponent thinks for a little bit. Tosses in the call. I know it's two pair and show. Fortunately, he did have the Ace Queen. Yeah, that one is unfortunate. Okay, we pick up Ace Jack suited of spades again in the cutoff. I raise things up to 20, and the player to my left makes the call. Heads up to a flop of 9-6-3, two clubs, one spade. Definitely board better for him than me, so I check it over, and he also checks behind. Off to the turn, which is the 10 of diamonds. I check it once, once again, and he fires out a bet of 20. I'm not going anywhere right just yet. So I make the call. We're up to a river, which is the queen of diamonds. I check it over, and he fires out a tiny bet of 20. And when I say I've been bluffing these guys relentlessly, this is what I mean. I raise things up to 75, and he pretty quickly folds. Just relentless. Okay, the, hand, the table's now shorthanded. We're playing about six-handed, and it's gone very tight. Um, I'm taking down almost every single hand pre-flop. If not, I'm taking it down on the flop, so... I'm three betting my entire range now. Uh, hijack is raised to 20. I re-raised to 65. 
pulls back round and he makes the call. This is like the fourth or fifth three bets and he's finally called. So last few times I did actually have the hand. I had ace, queen, pocket kings. Now I got six, five suited. Damn it. <laughs> we go to a flop though. A king, 10, nine, one club. Looks good for my range. So when he checks it to me, I fire a bet of 45 and unfortunately makes the call. Off to a turn, which is the queen of spades. He checks it over to me and I'm just going to fire out one more bluff here. There's no equity bluff. I just don't think he's going to call with two pairs. So I fire out for 115. He goes deep into the tank. Praying for a fold because I'm probably not going to bluff the river unless it's a jack. Even then, I probably won't. But it doesn't come to that. He reluctantly makes the fold and we pick up another pretty decent pot. Okay, I've decided to change tables. Uh, they forced me to move down to an $800 stack, unfortunately. That's all right. Um, I've been here about three orbits, haven't played a single hand, just not getting anything. So I think my perceived image is quite tight. So low jack has uh, limped. I raise things up to 25, folds around to small blind who makes it 80. Uh, definitely don't want a four bet here as I think players think I'm quite tight. So this is probably a pretty strong hand. It's also a very reasonable price. So I make the call. We're off to a flop of ace, eight, deuce, rainbow. Running good. Small blind now fires about 60% here, $100. I think call is the only option here. Um, mitigates our losses when we do get counterfeit. Raising is just going to blow him off his bluffs, like kings or something lower than that. And yeah, just call. So I make the call and we get counterfeit immediately on the turn with the eight of diamonds. Pretty unfortunate. We're probably going to fold to a turn bet, but my opponent checks. So we're just going to check this back, try to get to showdown. River is the nine of clubs. Doesn't change much. And now my opponent moves all in for my remaining 620. This is about 2x pot. Feels like pocket nines or ace king. I just don't see him turning tens, jacks, queens, kings into a bluff here. Like ever. Ah, oh, it's pretty gross. But I think we're just going to have to let it go, unfortunately. I fold. I've topped off my stack to 800 and literally the very next shuffle, I pick up ace five of hearts this time. Under the gun is uh, limped and I once again raise things up to $25. Folds around to the blinds, who once again three bets to 125 over two callers. A little bit on the small side for being out of position, but seems reasonable. Folds back to me, and I don't have an excuse for this. <laughs> I could say, oh, you should do this once in a while, but I am brand new to the table. I don't have any reads, and I go ahead and stick it all in. I mean, I guess pocket queens, pocket jacks do make a fold here some of the time, but this just seems bad, like really bad. Hijack folds, button folds, and big blind snap calls. We go to a flop. King 10 3, a little bit of hope, and a backdoor straight backdoor flush draw. Turn is the deuce of heart, deuce of spades, river. No straight. My opponent shows pocket kings. Unfortunate. Um, just gonna rack up and go. That is bad. <laughs> That's going to wrap that up. Uh, definitely didn't play my best. I didn't play for too long tonight, maybe about six hours or so. I just didn't feel like rebuying after punting off $800 with Ace-5 suited. Um, didn't really play my best. Shouldn't have called down pocket threes. Ace-5 suited was a bit silly, especially with no reads. And yeah, but a loss was due. We did book like 10 wins in a row and one $0.00. So even though this one was sort of user error, I don't mind taking a loss here. I am back at the hotel. It is it's quite late, actually. It's still like 11 o'clock. But I am driving down to LA tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to play on Monday. I'm just going to go check out the city or just rest. I think they've got a hot tub, so I'm going to go sit in that all day. And then I'm going to go play at Bike, Commerce, and Hustler over the next six days before I head to Vegas. I'll see you guys all in those episodes.